Showcase TV is brought to you by Parfume Salvador Dali and Paris Mo. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali. You're watching Showcase TV. This week, our product guru is back with hot accessories from Paris Mode. Courtney catches up with men's mag cover girl, Annalise Brackensick. Plus, live music and a chat with the voice contestant, Mia Morrissey. Now, here's your host, Courtney Dober. Now, I'm lucky enough to be joined by another industry all-rounder. You may recognise her from The Voice. It's Mia Morrissey. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? I'm pretty great. Thanks. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to be sitting on this awesome I... lips of a couch. <laughs> <laughs> How did you start? Because you've kind of done everything. Oh, not quite, but I'd love to. <laughs> I'm thinking of run away, running away to the circus. Yeah. Um, oh, well, circus, no. yeah. We'll tick that one yeah, later. later. <laughs> but acting, singing? Yeah. Um, well, I guess my, my dad and my mum are both in the industry. My dad started off acting and then decided that he wasn't very good at it. Right. And then he went into management and my mum was in the music industry and she was a dancer before that. And so it's always been a really massive part of my life and a part of my family. You know, okay. Christmas times where this great big Mediterranean family and we'd yeah. have the bongos out and we'd, everyone would be singing good or bad. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> mostly bad. Um, Sounds awesome. Can I come? <laughs> oh, it's so much fun and there's so much food. It's like you gain 10 kilos in the first day. Oh, and then, of course, came the voice. So, how did you, wh why did you choose to do that? And I mean. How was it? it honestly. Was, honestly? Yeah. Honestly, it was absolutely incredible. <laughs> but I... I auditioned as almost a joke, you know, right. I was my, or the way that the audition process works is that you send in a tape of yourself that you've done and you, you know, send it into the voice and then they send another email back and then you go in for another audition and all of that before you get to the blinds. But the, the image, the video audition that I sent through mm. is me in my pajamas singing Brother by Matt Corby. <laughs> Great song though. And isn't it just, mm. it's so good, my God. That'll get anyone, uh -huh. to be honest. Pajamas, nudity, whatever. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't quite go that far yet. Yeah. No, it's no, another no, no. box to Don't, be ticked. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but we, yeah, I, I, it was, you know, I was in my room one night singing and then mm. I kind of had this <laughs> moment of, I actually don't sound too bad. Yeah. I'm going to audition for The Voice. Yeah, and then. Right. And then I did, and I got way further than I ever expected to. Yeah. You know, I didn't expect in a million years anyone to turn around when I was doing the blinds. Yeah. You know, I messed up a quarter of the way through. Yeah. And in my mind, I just kind of went, no, nope, okay, I'm, yeah. that's it. I'm out. We'll just keep going anyway. Yeah. And, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to have fun with it now. And lucky I kind of let go a little bit because yeah. then... Ricky it Martin happened. turned around. Ricky. I was like, Ricky. <laughs> I was like, hi. Classic. <laughs> That's awesome. What's yeah. come off the back uh, of that experience? Because it's obviously a massively popular show. Yeah. Huge ratings. It's uh, you would have had a you know a national audience <laughs> quite substantial. So what what's come off the back of that experience? I mean, so much. It's it's been incredible. I've um, been honestly. The main thing for me is I got confidence that I never had before. Okay. You know, I, as I said, I auditioned as a joke. I never expected to even get in, let alone get to the battle rounds or get mm. onto anybody's team. And then I did. And then I, it's almost like it gave me a little bit of validation to say, this is something that I love and maybe I can actually do it. And yeah. so I'm doing it now and i um, working on some of my own stuff. And Great. Yeah. It's, it's just so exciting. So now that you are, you've done the acting on yes. a show, you've done the singing <laughs> on a show, you're kind of killing it in both. <laughs> Can you do both? Are you going to choose one? Oh, oh no, definitely not going to choose one. I want to do both. You're going to do both. I mean, Barbara Streisand is my ultimate everything. Okay. I am a Barbara Streisandist. Yep. I think that she should be a religion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I'd love to do musicals yeah. uh, one day, which would okay. be awesome. But despite the fact that I danced for seven years, yeah. seven years, yeah, wow. s still not that solid 
on the dance floor. Okay, so you mentioned some of your original material. I would you like indeed. to get up and play a song? I would love to do that. Fantastic. Well, there you go. <laughs> Mia is going to jump up here and play one of her original songs after the break. So stick around. You're watching Showcase TV. Salvador Dali. Come on and join you. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, thank well you. Well done. I Thanks. loved it. Thanks. It was fun. What was it about? It's, it sounded like it had some deep, uh, deep meaning in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's about finding yourself, essentially, because you can be so many different people with so many different people. You adjust who you are based on who you're speaking to, if you want them to like you or if you want them to feel more comfortable. And 
I do that all the time. Yeah, I mean, everybody does. And it's kind of this revelation moment for when you actually admit that this is something that you're doing and you're going, wow, I'm kind of losing myself along the way to finding myself, ironically. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll, yeah do, that'll do it for me. Where can we <laughs> find your stuff? What, what are you doing? What's, what's coming up? Oh, so many things. No, I, you can definitely find it on iTunes. Okay. It will be out and about, and I will be performing it at various venues. Very nice. And then you can check up on my Facebook page or on my Instagram, yep. and all of the details will be up on there. Yep. Or my Twitter, that one too. Twitter, yeah. yeah. Social media. Social nice. media. <laughs> yeah, well, get on, to, get on to me. I follow her on social media. Follow her progress through the musical industry. You did so well on The Voice and oh, uh, killing you. it outside of it. So congratulations. Uh, stay tuned. More Showcase TV coming right up. Welcome back to Showcase TV. Yep, bit of a set change for our sponsored segment. And it's time to welcome back our product guru, Henrietta. What have you got for me this week? Hello. Today, Courtney, I have an incredible accessories collection. It's Paris mode and I haven't seen anything like it. I'm not sure about you, but have you ever seen a plastic that isn't made from petrol? No. No. Well, I thought the they were all made from yeah, petrol. Yeah, I know. So did I, to be honest. They're but not? No. This incre incredible line, the sunglasses as well, is made from acetate. So What's you acetate? are buying something that is completely biodegradable and environmentally friendly. Cool. So I'm... This is a high-end line, which is environmentally friendly, very rare to see, and it is all incredibly very stylish, very wow. sophisticated. And very affordable. And very affordable. You are buying French handmade products. Everything what? here has taken over three days to make because it has been cut, it has been through a barrel for polishing, and it's also been handmade, no. hand-polished. Wow. I'd really like to actually take your attention to these yes, sunglasses. Yes, please. Because these are my favorite. As you can see, they are incredibly retro, but very much They are a little trend. retro. You I'm can trying see them this. on. I feel like I'm back in the 50s. Do I look like I'm back you in the do. 50s? You do. You look exactly like Audrey Hepburn right now. <laughs> <laughs> But well, you I was can, not going for Audrey Hepburn. No, but it is that very stylish, very sophisticated look, which is yep. what Paris Mode is. It's a celebration of feminine qualities. These are products that you will have for the rest of your life, yeah. hands down. The way that they're made and the finish, and as I said, the acetate f finish, and I mean, feel the luxurious material so, of the acetate. It is incredibly easy to feel the quality when you are up here. I mean, a lot of sunglasses are a little <laughs> bit rickety and whatnot, but these things are solid. Are these, these are kind of a little bit cat eye-ish. Yeah, definitely, definitely cat eye. But Maybe we're seeing that cat eye look come back around. So as I say, this is the type of sunglass that you will have for the rest of your life in mm. terms of fitting in with the current trends, but also being a bit retro, a little bit different. You will certainly stand out with all your friends. I, I like it. I like that. That whole retro movement is coming back. As they say, it's fashion it is. is a 20-year cycle. Is. As you can see, I've put one of them on a necklace. Ah, Very quirky. Yeah, that's no, that's a good little design tip, actually. You're a bit of a fashionista as well. <laughs> Look at that little little piece of... That's cool. I like that. Speaking of jewellery, I would like to speak more about the jewellery because... As You're I wearing said, it, some. Yeah, I am wearing some. It's very light. You've got some very quirky, very on-trend cuffs. Okay. We've also got some lovely little Eiffel Tower earrings Ooh, and the hoops. Like so you've earrings. got a, a whole range of styles on the website, of yep. course. And I'd like to shift your attention to these hair accessories. Okay. Because I think in this day and age, women have kind of given up on hair accessories. We've That's what I thought. I, we, we, we've become a little bit boring, haven't we? Uh, yeah. And I think when women are trying to get dressed in the morning, they're rushing off to work, they don't know how to wear their hair, and they just put it in some really quick and easy ponytail. Yes. But I'm here to show you some very, very quick and easy and very sophisticated hair accessories that will give you amazing, amazing results. Fantastic. Well, so I'm, 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 I'm interested. But lucky, I actually have brought her along my own model. Have you? Yes. Where is she? I want <laughs> she, to meet her. She's down here. She's down here. Ah! Her name is Tammy and she's... <laughs> what did you do to her? <laughs> Don't look so sad. <laughs> Tammy's I feel like I'm on the set of out. The Exorcist no, or something. Tammy she's has so travelled a long way to be here today. So as I said, you've got an amazing collection here. You've got yes. a great comb. Yes. Comb this the comb hair. is the ultimate detangler. If that you get quite... tangly hair like I do, yep. then this is the comb that you want to go for. But I want to just show you some very simple, easy to do hairstyles. Yeah. yeah, hairstyles with the clips. These 
quality products are made for you, not the other way around. But I'm going to show you how to do a very simple French roll. Cool. Just section your hair as if you're going to put it in a ponytail. And then at the ends of the ponytail, twist. Twist and lift at the same time. It's very important that you get a good grip with your left hand at the top. But as you can see, it is actually quite easy. You tuck the remaining hair into the roll itself whilst holding a firm grip with your left hand. With the slide, just get a little bit of the knot. You don't want too much or too little. And then firmly push it into place. Look how amazing that looks. Wow. What I love about a French roll is that it is such a sophisticated, glamorous look. Mm. You could wear this every single day for work. You could wear it to a glamorous function, weekends, anything. And it takes you 30 seconds to do. It's so much easier than blow drying your hair or trying to do some fancy opti. Yeah, now that looks, that looks quite off. gorgeous. OK, so tell me about where we can find these products because I'm going to go shopping. Well, you can find all of these products. Mm -hmm. The easiest thing to do is go straight to the website, which is parismodeshop.com. There you will find the entire collection. And mm -hmm. it's so easy to have a browse through all of the pieces because I can assure you, you'll be there for a while. But there you go, parismodeshop.com to check out some more of these fantastic accessories. And the sunglasses, of course. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a pair of these ones right now. And uh, on that note, let's sign off. Thank you so much. Oh, I, I, I think I'm wearing too many accessories. Oh, no, there we go. I'm no, back. you've nailed it. Nailed it. Thank you so much, Henrietta. This, <laughs> Thank uh, you so much for having me. <laughs> Paris Mode, get there. <laughs>
basically out of um, sheer frustration of never being able to find anything in my size that was beautiful and fashion forward and supportive and sexy. <laughs> it was all these, you know, horrendous nana bras. So I thought, nah, I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to create my own collection. Collaborating with Big W for my sleepwear and my laundry is an absolute dream come true because I have the capacity to create amazing, beautiful designs that are affordable, that every woman can wear. The hottie is one of my favourites from the collection and it's a, it's a classic balcony shape and it's just got an ever so cute triple relay little bow detail and it's, it's full lace overlay, supportive, but it's just so elegant. And from that, I guess, I extended out to pretty much the whole collection and went from there. I have been completely hands-on with the development of every single piece of this collection. Straps that are made, you know, to show off rather than be ashamed of showing. Um, little love heart trinkets and beautiful laces and bows. There's a double bow detail at the back, which is gonna be prevalent in every single Annalise bra. Soft to touch, beautiful to touch, amazing to wear. I'm so passionate about designing lingerie. It's a dream come true because I can create beautiful, beautiful pieces for women specialising in the larger cup sizes so they can feel comfortable and supported and look and feel fabulous. Salvador Dali. Here's your chance to win Salvador Dali fragrances. Simply film your best version of I'm crazy about Salvador Dali in your best French accent, of course, like these girls. My name is Henriette Zamor and I am crazy about Le Parfum Salvador Dali. I am Tamarin and I am just crazy about Le Parfum Salvador Dali. I'm Eloise and I'm crazy about Le Parfum Salvador Dali. Each week, the best entries will be shown and the winner to receive a selection of Salvador Dali fragrances. Upload your video to Instagram, tag us at Showcase TV One, and you're in. Good luck. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali. That's it for this week on Showcase TV, but join us next week, same time, same place, different guests. It's going to be good. We'll see you then. 
Showcase TV is brought to you by Perfume Salvador Dali and Paris Mode. I'm crazy about Parfum Salvador Dali.